Trying this again. Trying this again. Trying this again. Sorry, friends. Okay, we got the go live request form in here. Um, let's see, I'm looking for three folks. I'm looking for Becca Zav in the I and Harry Locatelli. You are in this live request to go live with me. So you won. Oh, there's Becca Zav. Okay, she's here. I'm gonna request her. Get her in to this live. Hi. Hello, oh my gosh. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for watching my show. What'd you think? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Um, where in the world are you, Becca? I'm in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh my god, shout out to Pittsburgh. The home <laughs> of Alaska, right? And uh and yep. um Sharon, Sharon. are both from Pitt yes. Pittsburgh. Amazing. What is the Pittsburgh drag scene like now that I'm assuming they don't live there anymore? Um, it's still pretty good. Wait, yeah, have I don't... you ever seen um, my friend Schwa de Vivre, I believe, lives in Pittsburgh? Look I them up. Look I will, up. I think definitely. S-C-H-W-A. They used to live in New York. Okay. Uh, de Vivre. Look them up. Look them up. Um, what what kind of questions do you have for me, Miss Becca? Oh, my gosh. Honestly, like, my head's spinning so much right now. Like, I'm, like, in the in the protection squad, in your protection squad, and we were just, like in the DMs and I was losing my mind. Like I was shaking and crying and I had to get myself calmed down. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I mean, look, I, it's sad that I need a protection squad on Twitter these days, but some people are, uh, I, I've, some people are a little crazy, huh? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, you know what, you know, I'll say this is, I, I, I love when people have emotions about the show and about what happens and all of us on it. Um, and that's totally valid. And I think people's feelings around things are totally valid. Um, but I don't think we can, um, use uh, really disrespectful language like that. I agree. Yeah, completely. People saying some choice things on the Twitters, um, which I won't repeat. But thank you guys <laughs> for looking out for me on there. Uh, oh, this is just crazy. Um, <laughs> Becca, do you have any other questions for me while we're, we're here on IG Live? It's like, what are you doing during quarantine to like keep yourself kind of sick? Well, the, the last week was working on this show. So that was really fun. Uh, okay. I was lucky to work. Uh, my friend Alex Rubin, she lives in California, which is far away, but we've been able to work remotely together to kind of come up with some of the ideas for the comedy bits and some of the writing. So she actually pulled in two amazing writers as well, um, um, who helped kind of create all of this, um, uh, Garrett and Jen, and they were able to kind of um, help write some of the bits. So the bits that they worked together on as a team were the, um, the recurring bit with the super on the phone and okay. uh, the news sketch. Um, and the public service announcement, they helped write those. Mm -hmm. And they also helped uh, think of some of the, a couple of the visual gags I used in um, the cooking, the cooking song. So oh, okay. it, yeah. they helped with some of that stuff. And then some of the stuff <laughs> I, I wrote myself. So what, cause you know, there's only so much time and so much of your own brain. So it's always fun to work with other people to kind of come up with stuff to do. Right, absolutely. <laughs> um, well, Becca, is there anything, any other questions, any other burning hot topics on your mind? Oh my gosh, like, just my mind is like everywhere right now. I'm so sorry. I, this is probably like okay. the best awkward meeting you've ever had. <laughs> um, well, I appreciate so much your support and thanks for watching the show. Um, it means a lot to me. And, um, you know, hey, we got one more left. So tweet about it, tell people to buy tickets. It'll be great. Oh, definitely. I'll see you there um, too. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I may I may switch up a couple things to make it fun. People who already saw the show, I may change out a couple things so that it's a little a little different. Aww. it's perfect the way it is too. But if you don't change anything, thank you. All right, Becca, I'm gonna let you go, and I'm gonna look for these other two people who won. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Movie. Of course. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, Becca has left. Let's see who else is here in the room. Uh, I'm looking for a couple folks who won who won some things, and I may just do a couple of random ones too, so I can find some of these folks. I'm looking for Harry Locatelli. Let me find this person, Harry 
Harry Locatelli, I see you. There you are. How do I do this? Harry Locatelli. Um, okay. My goodness, my phone is not the best at this. Nope. How do I find these folks? There you are, Harry. All right. Let's see if we can get Harry in on this. Harry Locatelli, will you request to be in this live? I'm looking for you. I saw you, but then you disappeared from this list. Um, okay. How do I do this? This is very this is surprisingly difficult. Why is this so hard? IG Live is making this very difficult. Oh, there you are. Harry Locatelli sent a request. Now I can find you. I found you. Hooray. We are waiting. Let's see what we can do here. Hi. Far. Hi. I'll just hold it. All right, Harry. Talk to me, my friend. Where in the world are you, Harry? I'm in England. It's Where in England there. are you? Uh, Where? It's, that, it's, it's like a rural area in the south, so. <laughs> well, tell tell the world. Do you, do you want to keep it a secret, top secret? Um, It's Northern Hampshire, so. <laughs> Northern Hampshire. But, um, Okay. That sounds good. No one really knows where that. <laughs> That's amazing. Is it near where they filmed Downton Abbey? I don't know anything. Um, I don't think I don't know. I don't really keep up with British stuff. <laughs> I prefer American stuff. Yeah, forget the motherland. Um, so Harry, you, you, you so you watched the show. What'd you think? Can it was amazing. It was. I've never been to any anything drag related because it's like my area is like really rural and it's quite a small population. So it's the first thing drag related I've ever been able to see, and it was the best thing I've ever seen. Like, I literally was smile my 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 face hurt from smiling so much. Amazing. Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, so do you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? Every every time it comes out on Netflix, yeah. <laughs> Yay. Um, what do you think it so far of the season? I love it. It's it's a lot. I was like really kind of worried just um just I wasn't a big fan of season eleven. Yeah. But this season has been everything I wanted and then like more. Like I love all of the queens. Like it's probably the best I could have imagined. <laughs> I do. I do love this group of girls. You know. I think we're all very different. And you know. Um, you know. Of course, there's some bumps along the road. But I think as a group, we've really learned to like really respect each other and get along with each other, which takes some time, you know? So we've, uh, but we've definitely in the, I guess it's been almost eight months since we filmed this, you know, we've gotten close as a group. So that's been kind of cool. Um, yeah. What other, what are, any questions you have for me, either about the show you just saw or about Drag Race? I'm here to answer whatever you want. This is your time. Uh, <laughs> I'll put me on the spot. Um, uh, I think that, I guess I want to know, like, what was your inspiration for like the show? Yeah, so, well, uh, what I wanted to do, I wanted to do kind of like a, an old school variety show, which, you know, if you watch, ever watch like the Carol Burnett show or any old, you can probably find these on YouTube. Um, any of these yeah. old kind of variety shows which are big, like in the 50s and 60s, um, you know, it'd be a lot of different kind of things. There'd be like singing and a little comedy and a couple recurring sketches and stuff like that. Or even if you watch like the Lawrence Welk show, you know, things where it's like uh, different things to kind of, it's less of a plot and more of a just kind of uh, a formatted show that is can kind of be fun. And what I love about a variety show is like anything can happen. So like, I thought it was fun. Like I could do like a Star Trek bit and then I could do like a news bit. Like they can kind of be whatever I wanted. Um, so that was kind of my inspiration. Um, and then I wanted to like talk about things that are happening, you know, right now with the quarantine, what that's like, how it feels, you know. Um, yeah. And then I also wanted to, keep it fun and keep it light, you know? So that was kind of my thought there. My, also my, 
that was my in inspiration, if you will. <laughs> yeah, well, it was so good. <laughs> I still can't get over it. <laughs> oh my, you're so sweet. And Harry, Harry, are you in school right now? Um, no, my I'm I was in my final year of college, but our exams got cancelled, so it's out until September. <laughs> so you're like automatically free graduation, right? Just I'm in. Uh, I did it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like literally the exams got fully cancelled here, so. What are you studying in college? Um, I'm take law, business, and sociology. <laughs> That's a lot of important things there. Uh, so if you need a lawyer in North Hampshire, Harry will uh, eventually be available. Yeah, I will. I'll be your lawyer as well if you need me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Um, any other questions you have for me while you have me here on IG Live? Um, oh. There's so much, I don't know what to say, because I've, ne I've, I've never... Um, Speak your heart, it's okay. <laughs> I'm panicking, it's too, too, too many people. Um, what was, what, when do you, like, start, like, doing drag, I guess? Like, how do you get your start? Yeah, so I started doing drag in 2010 um, in New York City. I did, um, it was actually, like, a little drag competition I did it was called so you think you can drag um and I uh I, I had never done drag like like this I kind of um I did uh, a musical called Hedwig and the Angry Inch which if you don't know it Harry this is required viewing for you after this um go watch the movie yeah. with John Cameron Mitchell who's amazing and John Cameron Mitchell is doing a show as part of the digital drag fest as well so feel free to definitely go check out his show he's so talented what's, so it, show what's it called um, his name is John Cameron Mitchell. If you look up his name, you'll find the show on the Digital Drag Fest. Yeah. Um, but uh, he created a show called Hedwig and the Angry Inch, which there's a movie of you can watch. I did a production yeah. of it, um, and that was my first drag thing I did. But then I didn't do Jackie Cox till uh, my friend basically asked me to do this drag competition because he thought I could do it. And I was like, all right. So I made up this uh, drag character, and here I am. Yeah. Um, but what was it like being in like New York? Like, cause I know that's like quite one of the more competitive scenes in uh, the US. That's so like. <laughs> well, right now it's very quiet. You walk outside and it's very <laughs> quiet outside. It's, uh, it's the not a lot going on, but it's, it's definitely um, uh, a fabulous place. I think it's, it's um, it, sure there's competition, I guess, but it, it's just, there's so much creative people around that can kind of, inspire you so i i always see it as like a good thing because it's like seeing you know amazing queens and live entertainment and like non-drag entertainment can inspire you and your drag you know which is so cool like i'm yeah. inspired a lot by broadway shows and you know i love to incorporate like i incorporated six which is a west end show in my show I, so <laughs> definitely stuff that inspires you you know you don't have to like uh see anything as like a competition so that's kind of my two cents on new york yeah on that part yeah about the um season what would it when you like entered the workroom what was it like was there any queen that you immediately thought was like the biggest i guess competition for you to win the crown like on your first day like not this i don't want spoilers or anything so well yeah so on the, on the, the first well i would say the first person i walked in and i knew and i recognized was britta because i know her yeah. from new york city and i know how amazing and talented she is I was like i gotta watch out for her and then uh, the only other person I'd really heard of was Gigi Good, who I'd heard of um, in LA. My friends had showed me her Instagram, like, look at this girl, she's amazing. So I knew she was gonna really bring in the looks department. Um, so yeah, those yeah. Like, when I first walked in, those were the only two I like recognized and I had thought of both of them as threads. Yeah. But you know, here's the thing, it's, it's, it's a competition, but you know, uh, for all of us, I think it's, it's, a learning experience. I think we all learned so much doing doing the competition. We've all learned about ourselves, we learned about what drag can be. We learned about how to, you know, work with queens that are very different from us and like how they approach yeah. things. So it's definitely been a, a a cool experience, you know, with some bumps along the way. But like, where where does that not happen in life? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, well, Harry, thanks so much for joining me on the IG Live. Thanks for watching my show. Um, you no know, worries. Um, you're so sweet, and I hope you do well in your exams, or they just give you a, and you can just skip that. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, but I'm gonna hop off, I'm gonna hop you off of here, and I'm gonna pull up our last 
winner from the uh, from the uh, uh, Jackie Cox Variety Show into this IG Live. Mwah. Thank, thank you. So <laughs> it was much, a lot of fun. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, we are looking for our last person. It is in the I. In underscore the I. If you are in this chat, please request me to find you. In underscore Where are you? In underscore There you are, Julie. Julie, can you request to be in this video? I see you, but it won't let me click you for some reason. I don't know how to do this. Um, I will pick, I'll pick a random person after this. Uh, but I, I wanted to just at least um, pull the people. Julie, are you in, are you in this chat? Let me see if I can find you, Julie. Julie, are you there? Let's see. It's doing that thing. Yes, I requested. All right, let me try to get back to the requests. How do I do this? No, we don't want that. My goodness, this button does not love me. This is surprisingly hard. I'm hitting the button where I can view the request and it's going away. What is happening? I go in here. What happens if I put a question in? Oh, that was very sweet. I didn't mean to do that. Look, this is like your old auntie trying to use Instagram Live. Why is this so hard? I'm pressing the request button. Dang it. All right. How do I do this? My goodness. I'm pressing the request button. I'm gonna hop out of this call again because it's doing that thing where it's not only letting me actually access the request. I'm literally tapping it over and over and it's not happening. But I'm, I'm gonna end this and we're doing one more live and we'll get Julie into this call. Julie, come back in a second. I will see you all in a moment.